Well, I think, you know, first of all, I thank you for including me in this. I really yeah. love everything. Yeah. And the thing that I have learned from you so much, and I fell in love with you the minute I saw you in a video, is your, the way you style shift between your masculine and your feminine to me is your vulnerability is so powerful to me where you're, you're not in your ego. Like every now and then you pull that little ego out and I really like it. Of course. I, I think it's super fun, but at the same time, your vulnerability is so much power yeah. and we're all gleaning new information where my beliefs change all the time. Every time I talk to you, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. So I have a new awareness so I can get out of my ego and say, I didn't know that before. So maybe I don't think that anymore because I have new information and to be able to let go of that old program, right? That ego that's the only way we can grow. And the way you yeah. have framed it. The ego way- is beautiful, actually. So I don't demonize my ego. The ego is right. identity and it keeps me alive and it protects me. What, what matters is that I stay in learner. I learned yes. 20 some years ago from the great Apple, as MC knows, that it's all about going into learner. So everybody on my team, every student I have, I ha- you have to shift somebody to be in a learner state. Okay. Open. That's all it is. So if you just go, am I in a state of learning? Am I open to learning? And sometimes that's really challenging, especially in the face of something you don't want to hear. Um, And it's okay to dip in and out of it, right? Um, But if that's it, whenever you take a personal development course or anything like that, that's what the instructors are. If they can't get you in a learner, there's no hope for you. They're going to fail. So everything is done to get to learner and to open up a system so it can start to see and have insight and feel safe enough to learn. Right. Because if you to you have to feel safe. So, you know, the, the brain needs that. It's a very self-centered um, organ that only cares about itself and it wants to protect itself at all costs and it needs to feel safe. Safety is primary. So I do a lot, you know, to create that. But yes, I, I appreciate you saying that. Like I it's it's I've always it's interesting to, to learn to get to that point and it's been a journey, right? To be okay. Like I I I'm willing, I don't want to look like a fool, and I, but I'm willing. I have to understand that is the only way uh, I will ultimately be of service. And I am driven more by service than anything. So I think that's where joy lies. And if I've got to do some ridiculously crazy shit to help someone before me, I'm usually willing to do it, you know? And that's, I think, the difference in... I think that's where happiness goes out for me. That's where it resides. Um, and it doesn't mean I don't like nice things or being flashy or, or having an ego and having fun and playing with that and feeding that uh, part of me, right? That mask. It's fun. Yeah. I, you know, I always say, I, I love my little ego. She's super fun. Sometimes yeah. I have to tell her to calm down a little bit, but she keeps me in. Like, I think Brene Brown said, you know, you can keep her in the back seat and when she needs to drive, she can drive. And so, Thursday, but I just, I've learned this and you probably know this as being a doctor when we're in fight or flight, which I feel like so much of the world is, and I know you and I are going to have an opportunity to talk. Um, when we're in fight or flight, I've learned that the blood doesn't go. What is it? The hippocampus or something in the front of the brain. Well, first of all, it, it shunts away from your brain entirely because it's going okay. to the extremities. So okay. all you of can... your, your heart doesn't get as much blood. I mean, everything, it goes to the extremities. It's a huge so, physiological shift. So I feel like the world is so much in fight or flight that how do we, me, you, us, create safety so people can then go into learner? So there's got, you know what I mean? Because everybody has got their weapons out right now because- Are you talking about safety for yourself or for your customers? Um, I just, I mean, Mike, I have a really good group. I mean, I have a really good, I've been in business about 20 years and I have really loyal. I'm just saying in this new world, (laughs) like just being a human, yeah. And everybody. Well, there's some basics. I mean, there's basics. So this is what I teach in my courses. And I, some of the, I'm gonna, I will reference back to my, my signature series journey. Okay. Whatever you, you, whatever you want to talk about. Important. Well, let me just say like this, because this is what I figured out with, with my courses, what I'm doing that I didn't know. So the three R course I have, I started this class a year ago. I had one thing. I actually started something that I didn't even have a product. I literally sold $15,000 on me. I'd had nothing. Okay. So right, you don't need to do shit. You just need to get out there. And I, I had it in my head. I understand. I've been doing this. I don't need to have it all perfect first. I don't need to write a book. I can just talk. So three R. What I've been doing is helping women 
get into their bodies. It's about embodiment mm -hmm. and it's about what I'm doing is nourishing them. I'm teaching them to nourish themselves and nurture themselves for the first time so they can stop being traumatized and stop dissociating so much from their bodies. So that's why we, why I, it's why I do carnivore. I'm, I, if there's a real psychological, physiological, and spiritual reason, I need to bring matter. I need to make this, them to understand this food deeply affects your brain, sugar, alcohol, uh, in particular, car grains set the, the limbic system on fire in the brain and make it very flipped into, into panic, anxiety, emotion state instantly. I need a lot of fat and protein to activate the parts of the brain that can calm it down. So three R is, is nourishment and it's the body. I want you to get into your body, have mindfulness, have awareness. That's why we focus on rest and I focus on the most nutrient dense food on earth. And I start eliminating poisons and toxins immediately for just a simple reset. It's very deep and it's very powerful, but women get into their bodies. They become aware of this again. They stop numbing out. They stop checking out. They stop distracting. Okay takes a minimum 90 days. Many will take more. They have a real big trauma, big dissociation. Then M1, my next course is the master's experience <clears throat> that is all about the brain. Then I'm taking them from their bodies. I've stabilized their bodies. I've made it feel safe. I've nourished it. I've nourished it. I've nourished it. Then I go and I say, now we're going to really focus on, on the brain. It's a cognitive journey. I feed that brain what what society wants, right? And we're very cerebral. I feed it. I nourish that part of them. I weave spirituality into it. I weave consciousness. I weave that into M1, into the master's experience. Very cognitive though, but very spiritual and resonance. M2, we're about to start. Never done it before. I'm very clear what M2 is, is a journey into the heart. So I go from the body embodiment being present to the brain because we love that we're a cerebral culture but i've made that brain so safe now i make it super safe i make it so strong in their discernment of right from wrong truth from fiction and i and i intertwine it i, I lace spirituality and and connectedness into physics you know i make it be like they're like oh shit now this makes sense so they they're no longer disempowered with their physicians or the medical cartel that's my goal there okay then the next one is we're going into the heart because at the end of the day what everybody needs right now is a deeply heart-based journey the heart should be driving and controlling the brain but to start people here when they're all total wreck everywhere else is a very difficult challenge so i go from the stages of where we need to go and now these women are going to drop into a state of resonance and frequency of their inner knowing that they are so divine they uh, are everything that ever was and ever shall be and, and will never ever end and it will drive from their heart the heart cannot hold fear simultaneously as it holds love it can't but i can't get right. somebody here i can't get somebody here if they're starving they're malnourished they're trying to live on uh salad and water and never eating or they're on their phones all night you know i i have to teach them all the whys uh, and change their physiology and neurology step by step it's body stop dissociating be present there now we're gonna i'm gonna nurture that brain i'm gonna get it even better and now we're we're going into the real nitty-gritty that the only way we are surviving is by going into the heart but not everybody's ready i can't bring somebody from here to here I, i'd take them on a journey because by this time they better trust me they better know how to be state they have to be stable emotionally neurologically and psychologically before we start dropping into this space. Uh, it's all like, I, I got really emotional. It's also um, interconnected yeah. about unprogramming. Yeah. Like women aren't supposed to take up space. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so to have real food and to embody who we are and stop being told that we're wrong. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's why you find the most traumatized women end up taking up 300, 400 pounds of space. Okay. That's why you said to me a couple of weeks ago, I can tell you're grounded. And I didn't know what that meant, but now I know what you meant by that. So. But I, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. So that's, but so that's, if you're asking the that's, that's the answer. So okay. that's it's about, it's about heart, heart technology. Yeah. Okay. It's, really, it's that.